The new medicine price change went into effect last week. The prices of more than 2,300 medicines were cut by an average of 12 percent. Most of the drugs targeted are commonly prescribed ones, such as those for treating a cold, fever, inflammation, high blood pressure, heart disease, or diabetes. The cuts aim to ease the financial burden on citizens. Today we're pretty busy making the price adjustments, and I think the policy is very good for the public. The price controls form part of the medical reform program that was unveiled in April. China says it aims to provide basic medical care for China's 1.3 billion people by 2020, and that the plan would cost more than $120 billion over the first three years. Chinese Vice Premier Li Keqiang says the funds will be mainly used in building an essential medicine system, improving primary health care services, and replenishing basic public health services. The low price set by the government is certainly more affordable for the consumers, but some producers of these medicines say they're concerned that the low cost may erode their profit margin. The National Development and Reform Commission, or NDRC, says the price change has impacted about 3,000 drug producers. Some consumers have voiced concerns that manufacturers might stop making certain medicines if the retail prices are too low. There are also fears that others might be tempted to change the packaging of a product and sell it as a different type of medicine at a higher price. And while the price ceiling will eat into the profit of drug companies and give that money back to consumers, the price adjustments won't solve all the problems. It's still difficult and expensive to go to see a doctor. The NDRC says manufacturers will be able to set market prices based on demand as long as they're not higher than the recommended retail price. It adds that government-run medical and health units can no longer sell drugs with a 15 percent markup. This means the overall retail price has now been cut by nearly 30 percent. But according to the West China City Daily, some hospitals and pharmacies have failed to comply with the new order, saying that they haven't yet received official notice of the change. The NDRC says it will strengthen supervision on the retail drug prices to make sure that violators are punished. First-time offenders could face a fine of up to $150, not a huge amount even by Chinese standards, but repeat offenders could lose their business license. I believe the government's controls on this issue are strong. I'm not worried that drug stores will take advantage. The prices of almost half of all essential medicines will remain unchanged, including traditional Chinese medicines. Medical experts say this is partly due to the low profit margins enjoyed by traditional medicine producers. Prices of medicines in short supply, about 6 percent of the total, will be raised to encourage production. Sylvia Gunawan, BON.